Hello. I'd like to introduce Massa Musa Oil. Massa Musa was the wealthiest man ever in the world. He was worth $400 billion in today's money. So who knows the astronomical amount he was worth in his day. Massa Musa controlled all the known gold mines in West Africa at this time. And he controlled most of the salt mines in the Sahara in this day. So if you were living in Europe, half of Asia, probably, in the Near East, you had to deal with Massa Musa to get some uh, some salt and more and and, and, uh, and most of gold, um, most of gold in Africa at that time. You had to deal with Massa Musa. He was so rich that on a trip to Mecca on for his Hajj, he uh, brought a his retinue of servants or what have you, all laden with gold. The horses laden with gold. The horses, some of them had gold coverings from head to toe, most of them, not all of them. He had a gold nugget so big that he used it to tether his horse. Massa Musa actually brought the stock market and gold down because all stock markets at the time was uh, predicated upon gold. He had so much gold that he brought the gold, the stock market of the, near, of the Middle East down. Massa Musa had more gold. He was worth four hundred billion dollars. He had more gold than five or six of the richest men alive today. Bill Gates, I believe, is worth sixty-eight billion. Warren Buffett, sixty-one billion. And this is other guy in Mexico. He's worth so uh, I don't know sixty billion or something like that. Massa Musa was worth more than all those all three of those uh, named men put together. So in the spirit world, he when you got Solomon and you got King Midas and whoever else was rich in the, in, the, in the history of the world, they're all in the spirit world. Mansa Musa was is saying to them, "I'm wealthier than all y'all. Bow down." So whenever anyone in any nation, any tribe, wherever on earth today or any time, let's say after Master Musa died. Whenever they pray for wealth, Rockefeller, John D., the first one, when his people pray to him for wealth, when anybody in the world pray to him for wealth, it's got to go through Mansa Musa first because he was well, way wealthier than he ever was. I think Rock, Rockefeller and his people was worth about $100 billion. That pales in comparison to Mansa Musa. He was worth four times that. So Mansa Musa is not just a new African hoodoo king of wealth. He is the king of wealth, period, on this earth. So Mansa Musa oil. See, I have ingredients in here that I intuited. Um, I got them and finally grounded them up, finally grinded them up in my modern pedestal at the Mansa Musa shrine. And I even used his uh, favorite alcohol as a uh, charge. It's called Bacardi Gold Rum. And so, right here, Massa Musa oil. The way you use it is when you get your dollar, your, your, your bill, your paper bills, you would anoint the corners of them a little bit. And as you pass every, every paper bill you have, you anoint the corner. The four corners, and these this is symbolizing anointing the four corners of your world with this Massa Musa oil. This oil has ingredients in it which will ionize your electrons. See, we all have around us. We all have what some people call an aura, but it's really an atmosphere. Just like you go up in space, the space shuttle when it took when it went up in, or, in Earth's orbits, the different shuttles, shuttles, and took pictures of the Earth, you would see a thin film around the Earth. That's the Earth's atmosphere. That's the atmosphere, the different layers of the atmosphere, and down, down to our layer here that we breathe. That's the Earth's atmosphere. Every human, everything has a, a, uh, an atmosphere around them. Humans have an atmosphere around them.
you have electrons, protons, and all this in your atmosphere, especially electrons that jump off of you and jump around. That's why when you walk across a rug and touch the doorknob, you'll get a you'll get a charge. Or you walk across the rug and someone touches you and they walk across the rug, it's a charge. Those are electrons jumping from one from you to them and them to you. And when you charge, when you use this and it gets into your atmosphere and the intent of your mind is guiding it, the intent of your mind is guiding that, then what's jumping off of your atmosphere is a charge of prosperity according to the different properties and ingredients in this oil. That's how that works. It's Wi-Fi. There's no such thing as uh, non-physical magic. It's all physical, but it's physical on um, on a different level of physicality. In other words, on this level, me and you, as human beings, we're physical. But on the gaseous level, that spirit to us, in a sense, or maybe something that we can't, you know, it's on a whole different vibration. We are all, we have all layers of that vibration within our field. And those layers go out and they, those electrons jump out and they touch other people. And whatever that, those electrons are, 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 how can I put this? Are flavored by it, meaning, you know, your thoughts and the ingredients and all this other kind of stuff. It touches the thing in them. That is the same. And that's how you get your prosperity or whatever. That's how it comes back to you. Even out in the universe, there are corresponding vibrations and corresponding electrons, corresponding all this. Nothing, there's no such thing as empty space. This whole space is filled. And the intent of your thought processes and um, ionized by electrons that comes out of certain ingredients that correspond to that same thing in you then reaches out in court and hits other correspondence out there in space or this is space just means the area between me and you and you and I that we think is empty but it actually is not so it corresponds with that and on and on and on and on that's how these things work. That's how magic works. So this is uh, how this works. I made up about a hundred of them. A uh, hundred bottles of them, that is. It's three dollars a bottle. So I'll be, um, I got a PayPal account. So I guess you go to PayPal. My name is Kwame Ajamu. So I don't know. I'll get back with you on that, but I just want you to see this, that it's here and it's ready. Mansa Musa oil. Mansa Musa is in the pantheon of New African hoodoo. This is what we as New Africans need to be utilizing. We need to be utilizing um, spirits in our own pantheon. Mansa Musa is one. So, thank you. Peace out.